there you go, the sexiest man in Australia. Um, rocking out here. It's the Netherlands throughout the world promoting Indigenous culture. Um, so this is track number nine, folks. This one's called Outback Jennings. All the nations are greatly appreciated this way. Where you from? Well, Australia's Indigenous people are the most disadvantaged people in what is one of the wealthiest countries in the world. On average, a young Aboriginal child born today could expect to live less than a child born in rural Bangladesh. There's a, a huge gap in life expectancy between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. Uh, Indigenous children live on average for 17 years less than non-Indigenous children in Australia. Yeah, we're not. We're only 2.5% of the population, so we're very mar marginalised. Um, we're, in a sense, where that we're Australians are ashamed of Aboriginal people. They've always isolated us, pushed us away. Um, even a great example is the block. Um, we're being. They're trying to force us to be removed, the Aboriginal people from Redfern and the block, I believe. Um, <laughs> Redfern and the block is actually right on the outskirts of the CBD, so it's actually starting to grow around us. And um, the land we sit on and the land that we own, what the government brought for us back in 72, is now very valuable land. It had a horse riding accident, They're way out of Burke, so uh, they moved him to Sydney to prepare his, fix his leg. It had a pretty, pretty bad broken leg and uh, he was down in Sydney for about eight months. Once his leg had healed, rather than returning him back to his family, back at Burke, they'd sent him off to Kinchilla Boys Home. You, you want to make the space that everything else got? Yeah. yeah. You need to have to see stuff to Yeah, yeah. Exactly. A lot of people hit the grog hit drugs and you know just really went downhill and and wandered around lost didn't know where their family were is one of the most disturbing features of Aboriginal ill health and one that needs to be uh, addressed as quickly as possible. But it has to do with where people live, uh, the sorts of education that people have about, about um, you know, good health care during pregnancy uh, and the sorts of you know, environments that people live in while they're pregnant. There's lots of communities in Australia that don't have hot and cold running water, don't have infrastructure such as roads. Uh, some Aboriginal communities, especially in rural areas, live uh, a long way away from important health services such as oncology. It's, uh, it's the Aborigines down the bottom, it's the migrants at the top and anyone who's different that is open to criticism by this intolerance of these retrograde statements by a federal government that doesn't understand the changes that have happened over the last 20 to 30 years. You get people who basically 